Now all new at 5.30, a local police chief is facing charges following a crash that left a woman with serious injury. Now today, witnesses took the stand one by one to say what they saw. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Courtney Fisher was there. Alan DeRusso is still the Coriopolis police chief, but he's been on administrative leave for the last two months since the charges were filed. Today in court, he pled not guilty to all of them, and witnesses described what they saw moments before the crash happened. It's clear the accident changed two lives. Chief DeRusso still uses a cane because of injuries. And Christy Grazier, the woman whose car he hit, who sat across from him in court today, suffered a concussion, fractured skull, and spent days in the hospital. DeRusso faces several charges for T boning Grazier at the Thorn Run Road intersection, including aggravated assault by vehicle, a felony which DeRusso's lawyer asked be dropped. The judge refused. We're not disputing that there was an accident. We're not disputing that both parties were severely injured. Um, but the fact that this accident occurred uh, and the way that it occurred does not rise to the level of a felony. Four witnesses testified, and some people say they saw flashing lights and heard a siren coming from DeRusso's unmarked squad car. Some weren't sure. Investigators say the recorder in DeRusso's car, which works like a black box, shows he was driving 80 miles per hour down a 45 mile per hour University Boulevard two seconds before the crash. At impact, he was driving 52 miles per hour. Police say DeRusso was not responding to a 911 call. DeRusso's lawyer says he was on police duty but wouldn't elaborate. And evidence will come out that probably 95% of the calls that go through that borough aren't by 911 or dispatch. They're on personal observations. And the fact that they uh, didn't find evidence of that does not mean that the evidence is, is absent. DeRusso will be back in court next month. Courtney Fisher, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.